We love technology because it is creative. It doesn't matter what you look like. And the year was 1999. You could see how cool it was. I could sell it to young people because as programmers, you got to write the rules. You shifted from being a consumer to being an innovator. And it was hot. I could see a whole rainbow of people wearing pocket protectors and pushing their glasses up their nose. And these people being proud, being innovative, and being cooler than they'd ever been before. Now, technology wasn't the only piece. There had to be a leadership component. There had to be something for that young man that I had visited with today that for him, it wasn't just about what he knew, it was about sharing it with others. So not to create the next technology school, but to create a thousand community leaders by 2020. And what would that mean? That would mean people going into the communities and making opportunities for others. Whether they were starting their own businesses and being entrepreneurs, whether they were affecting policy and being advocates for things that were important in their community, or whether they were being thought leaders and mentors and teachers, we could affect change on a massive scale. And that's what leadership was. Now, the third piece of it was business. And if you put them all together, we get a BLT. We like to call it at IC Stars. Foods always make great metaphor. <laughs> Food, they, uh, so business, leadership, and technology. And so having a rock solid business curriculum would mean that we had to teach entrepreneurship. And so at IC Stars, you work on three projects. The first project is a corporate project where 10 people are divided into three teams. They form their own consulting companies in a week. And that Friday evening, they get their first RFP from a client. And that client sees all three teams and at the end of the RFP process, which is approximately three and a half weeks, decides on which team will win the bid. Now this is after you've been at IC Stars for a week and you might be thinking, well gosh, how in a week do people get ready to, well we're all ready. In fact, many of us have just been waiting, waiting for the light. So the second project is the business project and this means that now you've got four weeks to build a company. Four weeks to be profitable. So we work with all of our friends in the industry who are investors and they push them through this business planning competition and we get folks from Kellogg and GSB to also sit on that business planning competition panel. And we've had 12 successful businesses in this last year. 12 businesses launched out of IC Stars. And at first people are surprised and they say, well, Sandy, this is incredible. How could you put on it? And I say, it's not so incredible. It's life. I mean, that's what happens with resilient people. They're always innovating. They're always coming up with something because out of struggle comes opportunity. And if you think about it, the best thing that you've ever done probably came out of crisis, probably came out of a struggle. So it's not that hard to comprehend. The third project that we do is for a nonprofit, and it's the, the, the project that looks most like what our graduates will go to do at work. So they're building a large scale application over four cycles, and they're working with a nonprofit. This last year we worked with the Stain Center at DePaul University, and one of the neatest things about it was their client was an alum and an alum from cycle four. Now as Ellen said, we are entering our 16th cycle. And if you're wondering, what's a cycle? I don't know if you've ever seen America's Next Top Model, <laughs> but <laughs> the groups come in cycles. Well, we had the cycle before Tyra Banks ever did. <laughs> and the reason why is we didn't want to be a class or school, we wanted to really be that transition between school to work. Because the funny thing about school is that school is all about you. It is a beautiful, marvelous experience in exploring who you are 
finding out about it. Sometimes the hard way, because you're a little hungover and you gotta get to that 8 a.m. class. And sometimes the good way, because you push your limits and challenge yourselves in ways that you didn't think you could. And you're all on your own. Well, the funny thing about work is that it's about everybody else. And making that transition to it being about everybody else. You don't really get to be hungover and show up for an eight o'clock meeting. There's no homecoming games. And you support your team. Your primary job in your first five years at work is to make everybody else look good. Wow, there are no grades. And so that's what IC Stars does. From the neck down, we're all minimum wage. It's what we do with what's up here that makes us knowledge workers, that makes us geeks, and that makes us cool. Now, Eric Lannert, my partner in crime here, would say, geeks aren't just technology people, Sandy. You are a geek. You're a really big geek. You're a leadership geek. And I guess that's true. So we've come to define geek as expert. Whatever it is you do, be an expert at it and embrace your geek.